Hi, I want to welcome you to my series of reflections on Holy Week. Today and each day for the next seven days, I'm going to offer you a short video meditation about the movements of Holy Week that I hope will, will help you draw close to the Lord during this most special season of the church's year. I hope you'll engage with me. I hope you'll let me know your thoughts about the videos, and I especially hope that you'll let me know how you are being drawn close to the Lord during this week. So, so Holy Week begins with Palm Sunday. Of course, you've been to Sunday Mass and you've got your palms, right? Um, and, and the palms recall to us the fact that Jesus entered into Jerusalem just a few days before uh, his passion and death, and, and that's where Holy Week starts, and that's where our meditations on these movements start. Um, so I want to focus in Luke's Gospel. Now, each of the three synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, give us the, uh, the story of Jesus entering into Jerusalem, and then they give us slightly different variations on Jesus' ministry and his teachings during Holy Week. But I'm going to focus here just on, on Luke's version for just a moment. After Jesus enters into Jerusalem, it says, He drew near and saw the city, and he wept over it. Again, we see in the Gospels Jesus weeping. He, his heart is saddened by what he finds. And, and I just I spend time reflecting on that, and I think, Jesus, how do you feel when you find my heart, right? I hope that Jesus doesn't weep over my heart. But then he goes on to tell him, he says, Would that even today you knew the things that lead to peace. The very simple fact is that Jesus' words and his ministry are all ordered toward bringing us peace. Peace in our lives, peace in our relationships, peace with God, of course. And so keep that in mind during this Holy Week. Peace should be our guiding light. And then right after he talks of peace, he goes into the temple area and he cleanses the temple. He casts out everything that is profaning this temple that's supposed to be a house of prayer. And so I think we can meditate this week during Holy Week on the ways that the Lord can cleanse the temple of our hearts. We should ask ourselves, what is there in my heart that is keeping my heart and my life from relating fully to the Lord? And let Jesus cast that out. That's what Holy Week is should be about for all of us. So, if you want more, visit my website, DerekRoddy.com. I do pray that your Holy Week is blessed and that your Easter season is a joyful one. God bless you.